What's up everyone, I'm Beefy Brito and welcome back to the Swords of Ditto. Now in the last episode we just finished our first dungeon and then now I really want to try and get into the meat and potatoes of this game. I really want to see like what this game is about, what it's like, and really try to sink my teeth in. Now I need to go to that circle area marked in the map. We just got this new ring that lets us shoot lasers and it's really strong. So how do we get over there? Uh, I need to go... Okay, I can't go down. I have to go up and to the left. But this new ring costs mana to use, which is what that purple bar is on the left. I didn't know what that was for earlier. And then we regen our mana by standing on the... Like the little energy pads. I don't know what else you would call this. Gus Mob Pools level 3. I wonder if the levels change... Or the difficulty of the areas change as you... Level up, or are they always going to be the same places? Like, the first places are always low, and as you level up, it gets better. Oh, they disappear! Those guys are the little helpers that we need to find, but I didn't think it was going to disappear. I was busy talking. Beacon Thrall Cave, let's see. Oh, there's bombs. This place looks cute. Look at this guy. He's just chilling in his little tub in this cave. Ock, who dares disturb the god of the seas, foolish mortal, prepare. Oh, hang on a second. You're the sword, ain't ya? I'm right, I'm right, see? I'm always telling our topu I can spot the sword from a mile off. Gosh, where are my manners? My name's Ock, dear. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Combine stickers. You don't have enough stickers, my dear. Three or more, that's the rule, and yellows don't count. Why is he calling me my dear? And yellows don't count. Is that like the difficulty or the rarity of the stickers, I wonder? Alright, well, we'll figure out what this guy does later, I guess. Okay, the penguin's back. Come here. No! Okay. Don't throw me, my bones are very brittle. Pango sent you. He's where? And he thinks he's at the right destination? Ah ha ha. Sorry if I didn't laugh, I'd cry. Anyways, thanks for the info. Pay him a visit soon, I'm sure he'll be glad you helped. Does that mean that my bomb capacity has increased as well? So I need to go down more. And I've gained more mana somehow. I don't know if it regens slowly over time. Let's see. Down loop flats. Let's check inside this home now. Who be this? Jace. My Gavin said it's about time Mormo goes looking for her sacrifice so she can stay all youthful on that. If she comes for me, I'll just say I'm 60 and there ain't much left for us left in me. I'm good at complaining and all, so I reckon I'd be pretty convincing. Just a little bit of flavor text, I guess. Man, this place is all destroyed. Or the whole area is, I guess. I can't read the sign. I still hope that you can defeat Mormoro. I mean, sure, the last sword wasn't all that, but maybe they were just a total idiot with no motor skills, you know. Yikes. Um, still talking about me. So it hurts my pride a little bit. Okay, so I don't know if there's anything left for me to do here other than just to maybe grind some mobs. Oh, what I need to do is I need to start... God, this ring is so strong. I need to start destroying this grass so I can get money, because... You have to have a constant supply of money just so you can buy food if you're bad. At least like I am. And I'm always taking random damage. And you need like thousands to start getting the freaking items. At least the good ones. Oh, I got gold bar. What is that? Does that give me a quest? George. Or Jorge. Would it be Jorge? I think so. With a J. My granddaddy was such a tight butt. <laughs> he even gave me a rusty old key for my sixth birthday. A key! He said that there was something very special at Peach... At Peace Reach Plains. 
that I would pass on to someone in a time of great need, so... Oh, you thought I meant you? Well, I seriously don't want any more of it. I can't read. George gave you a key or something in the peach... Peace Reach Plains. That's hard to say. Oh, these rocks move. What the... Oh, I can't hurt them with my physical attacks. I have to use my... Can I hit him from here? That was a waste. I can't hit him with... How do I kill this guy? Okay, you stay away from me. I don't want anything to do with you right now. Okay, so you do slowly gain mana over time. Take you disappear, pop back out. You are nasty looking. That's all I know. And you just... Oh, I gotta roll away from that. You just crap out these little jellyfish. It's like, who came up with this? Is the chest gonna open this? Okay, just walk into people's houses and take their chest. Noah. All of life can be found in the ether. It connects us all in the moment we enter this world until the time we leave. Words of wisdom. Interesting. <gasps> I did, where did you come from? Pigwa. Why are you chasing me, little? He goes, where? Oh wow, his sense of direction is almost as bad as his sense of style. Damn, dude. Well, better go soothe his ego. Thanks for helping me out, I'll let him know. So pop by next time and I'm sure he'll reward you. This one has a pink scarf this time. It's... Have I mentioned how much I love this game? Like, it just is so aesthetically pleasing. From the color palettes to the way everything's drawn. Downguard Grotto level 3. Wait, is this it? Or is this a puzzle? No, my money. Wait. Let's go back outside and read that sign. That's it? Okay. Well, I don't know what else to do there. All oh, the red ones explode. Okay. What is that tower thing? Oh, that was the building we went to earlier. Blackwell Cops. Fring. Wow, that's. I don't even know what sound effects it is. Ferg. Ferg. Well, it's a pretty intense ether storm down there. You know what that means? We almost found the anchor. Let's get inside the dungeon. Okay, so there's a dungeon in here. Why is that highlighted? Okay, that was weird. Dude, what are you doing just chilling out here? Noah, can you feel it? This place hums with a sort of background energy, or rather a potential energy like a dam, the water pushing and straining against its enclosure. It's there, but something is keeping us from sensing its true form, from utilizing it. I wonder is that the difference between either weavers and us normal folk? Oh, I can't go in here yet. I need to level up. Conveniently, there is a bunch of things here. I'm nowhere near leveling up. Or I'm kind of close, I guess. I wonder if I should have kept that thing there so I can keep spawning stuff for me to kill. I think they're trying to lick me. Okay, let me activate this thing. I'm digging this laser. I wonder if we can upgrade our mana or spells later. I almost feel like there's different classes or like styles you can choose to play this game based off of the weapons you want to use and what stickers I guess you can get is what they're calling it. 
Okay, I need to hit level 3 somehow. Is there anywhere else I need to go? I can try exploring down there. Maybe I can level up down there too. Okay, so your main regen's pretty quickly. What the heck? What is this? Hot sauce? Two days until... Showdown. What the heck? The time goes by so fast. I need to find that dude. I don't remember his name. But he can help me reset time. But I wonder if I, on the last day I have a day zero or if that day one is my last day. So close. Can I light these on fire? No. Oh, there's burn damage. That's nice. Oh, I'm almost dead. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's do some chocolate. Come on, hit me. Oh no! Okay, I really don't want to die again. So let's eat this donut. Okay, I have to wait for these guys to get stunned before I can hit them. Am I not level 3 yet, really? There we go. That's- I was leveling up! Got that ancient chamber vibe down to a T, huh? Anyhow, time to get handy with the laser ring. Beating these challenges is the only way to get to that anchor. Okay, who are you? Robot. Auto X dot bat. Initiating boot up sequence. Isle of Trials rule system online. Okay, so this is one of the trials. In accordance with the Ministry of Trials decree, blah blah blah. This dungeon is subject to the Ditto Isle of Trials challenging system. All interactions with the dungeon will be augmented by the rules held within the rulebot. You can revise the rules in this dungeon at your convenience by pressing on the start on your tablet device and clicking on status. Today's rule is rainy day, poison puddles last longer. Okay, so each time you're trying to redo this dungeon, the, the challenges change is what that sounds like. Ooh, that's nifty. Cool, I can teleport. Okay, so nothing crazy yet. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, step on this next. Open that. Uh, okay, this is open. I got the key. I felt so dumb trying to do that dungeon last time, like... I was walking around for like 10 minutes trying to clear the puzzle and I couldn't figure out for the life of me what it is. Okay, I hit something. I hate how I can't aim specifically. Hello? Okay, they have to be lit for me to teleport to them. Money. Oh, I get more mana. What is that noise? That sounds so creepy. Since I have these mana things, I'm gonna want to try and use the magic while I can. What is that sawing noise? I don't like that at all. So he's making it spin the other way. Oh no, I should not have gone this way. 
Okay, yeah, I want to go this way, I think. Oh god. Okay, let's try this one. It's a chest. With an eye on it. So let's do tokens. I'm assuming these are important. I don't know what they do yet. So I can't be too excited that I found one. Let's see what's over here. Got some baddies and some rats. <gasps> what is that? Another chest to see if I can get something more useful. Oh, what the fuck! I got tricked. I'm here just busting up pots for gold, and there's a monster freaking popped out of it. Okay, so that's the big key that I need. Big boy. Should I take this thing? Back to the beginning. I was thinking I should just walk back out the other way. Because now I have to start back over. Let me use the eye, please. I hate how it auto locks like that. I mean, it's useful when I'm fighting the monsters, but when I'm trying to solve the puzzle, it's extremely infuriating or frustrating. What the? Okay, so these guys steal your mana. I do not. Fuck off. But I can regen my mana right here. Okay, do I need another small key to open that door over there, you think? Or will the same key work? Oh, donut, nice. Okay, I can get through here. Okay, I want to activate this first. Which spawns the baddies. Can't even go over there yet. on the... Oh, it's not a... I guess it's like a skull. It looks like a bird to me, though. Does this explode, red one? Come on. Okay. Let's regen my mana. And let's give this a try. I guess this is going to be the first anchor that we eat. Defeat or destroy. <laughs> she got me again. I should have seen this coming. The anchor isn't here. It's so delightfully easy to manipulate you, you do gooders, and also strangely satisfying. Yes, no anchor here, I'm afraid. That Togo really ought to check his sources. And maybe you should be a little bit more discerning in your choice of allies, sword. The senile old man of a dung beetle. Okay, so the dung beetle is a man. Earlier they said she. Whose lack of brains is second only to their lack of hygiene. Oh. See, so said her again. A senile old man in a dung... Oh, the turtle. A senile old man in the dung beetle whose lack of brains is second only to the, her lack of hygiene. 
Hey, that's kind of below the belt, Mormo. Sorry to hurt your feelings, Puku, but the rest assured that it won't last for long. Come, Maluska, bash these fools into a fine pace. First boss, Maluska. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's a lot of... That's a lot of health. I really hope I don't die here. I have a lot of consumables, luckily. Oh god. I dodged that. Okay. It makes sense that I can't attack the back. Ow. Uh, let's see this donut I got. So I have to wait for the first eye and then the second eye will come out. Oh, this slime slows me. I do not like this. Okay, so that ring hits for two. Oh, what the heck? I can't even... Oh, I did it! I wasn't even paying attention to his health. Yeah! Well, what do you know? The anchor was here all along. That thing looks creepy. There's like tubes pumping out of the rock. Another chance to weaken Momo give it hell. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this rock up, bitch. You destroyed one of Momo's anchors. Now Momo will be weaker when you face her in the final battle. Okay. Nido Mosquito. Well, that certainly helped her chances for the final battle, but you know, if you're fancy improving your odds even further, there's still another anchor we can go after. Well, where's it at, boy? Or oh, girl? Way over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and fast travel to town. Yeah. I wonder if we have enough money to buy anything. I love this bus animation. Such a nice little touch. Kind of reminds me of the Magic School bus a little bit. And then this lady right here is Miss Frizzle. Ditto Mart. I wonder if there's any other way to make money other than destroying all the grass that I see. Take a look around. Um. I'll come back and buy food after I look at everything else. Let's see. I have 500 monies. Hold down attack to charge and do a spinning strike. Okay, kind of like Link spin. Unlocks charge strike. Hold down for your third strike to be a charge powerful blow. There's new stickers now too. This would be good for AoE. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Bear Claw. I like having new abilities. I think the sword would be... Or the increased sword damage would be the better option here. Just having more energy. Oh, these are only 100. Yeah, I'll go with the... Increase element. No, I don't have that yet. Food restores more of your health. Okay, that sounds useful. Okay, so I don't feel too bad about that now. Alright, we're finally getting a little bit stronger, getting a little bit more into the game. That's all I have time for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.